Welcome back to another live here with Design Bundles. Today, I am so excited because we are going to be playing with the brand new Cricut Hat Press. So as you guys can see, I'm already wearing one. This video is actually going to be coming out this Friday, so make sure you guys stay tuned. This is from the exact same bundle. So if you guys want to see another one done, here's another one. But I'm obsessed with this, guys. So if you guys have not checked it out, this is a highly recommended product for 2022. Uh, but if you guys do own the Cricut Hat Press, I want to know down in the comments. So we are going to be creating three hats today. So we're going to mix it up between a mixture of mom, dad, and uh, some Christian stuff we've got here too. So several different types of hats. We're going to play around with them. And none of these are the Cricut brand in case you guys are wondering, can you only use the Cricut brand? So uh, let's go ahead and dive right in. Now, before we jump over, I'm going to go ahead and get my screen ready because I'm going to share the bundle with you. But I want to go ahead and mention we are giving away this entire bundle today. So one lucky winner at the very end is going to get to win this entire bundle. So you can start crafting with it today. I'm going to give away that hashtag at right before we do Q&A. So you guys make sure you stick around so you guys can um hang out and participate in that and have a chance to win. So like I said, we're not going to give that away. So stay tuned and we'll do that at Q&A. Also, as usual, we always um, answer your guys' questions. So if you guys have any questions along the way, um, definitely drop those in the comment below and uh, we'll get to those at Q&A. And then we do have Brittany in the comments so she can help as well. All right, so the bundle we're going over today is the Mega Craft Bundle Volume 27. Now, this one is loaded. It's $19. It's originally, um, it's worth $170.97. You guys have 31 days for this one here, and it comes with a variety of stuff. So we have tons of SVGs, um, PNGs, you know, Sublimation, Glowforge, and some really fun Glowforge projects at that. So um, I'm going to kind of go over a few of these and I'm going to show you the ones that we are using today. And then we'll go over to Cricut Design Space and make some of these. So we have tons of um, 4th of July. So check these out. These are amazing. So you have SVGs, but you can definitely, um, you can create these with your sublimation as well. But I love this one right here, this America. We've got some cows in here, some dogs but there is tons of fun ones. Now we do have some tutorials coming on this very soon. So if you guys purchase this bundle, you guys will see some sublimation um, tutorials coming from this bundle right here very soon. So stay tuned for that. So we have that one, love, love, totally worth it alone on that. We have keychains. So there is bundles inside of bundles inside of here. So we even have the, um, the holders involved in this, but lots of fun keychains right inside of here. And then we even have um, lots of stuff. We even have stuff for Black History Month in here. We have rolled flowers, baseball. This is one of the ones I'm using today. So we're going to do a baseball mom one. And I was trying to decide which one because I'm actually going to be doing it on this red hat here. And so we're going to be doing this baseball mom, but I'm going to do the round one. I decided to go with a round design just so you guys could see a round design going on the hat. So we're going to do this um, baseball mom. Actually, I think it is... It's not that one. You guys will see it here in just a bit, but we have that. And then because it's baseball season, right? Baseball, softball. So this is going to be the perfect time to make these hats for um, the season. Baseball, softball, all of those things. Now, this is one of those really fun Glowforge projects um, that are super trendy right now. And uh, we are going to have tutorials coming on this very soon. So once again, if you guys purchase this, stay tuned because you will be seeing some tutorials coming out of this one as well. But look at these. Is this not a ton of fun? I really think I want to make this one right here. I love it. So like I said, those are super trendy right now. Lots of paper crafts. Um, we've got a bunch of tumblers in here. Now, also, by the way, guys, I haven't even told you, if you guys are just now joining, make sure you guys tell us where you're crafting from. What are you guys crafting today? And once again, I want to know, have you guys already purchased the hat press or is it something that is on your wish list? I want to know your thoughts on it. But as you can see, lots of fun tutorials on the uh, tutorials, lots of fun tumblers in here. This one's a really fun Glowforge one as well. I think I'm going to be doing this one in a tutorial soon too, because I'm obsessed. Every time I see these puzzles, I'm like, guys, we've got to make a, um, a puzzle. So um, several of these little puzzles in here, when my kiddos were young, this was something that we always had on hand. And then you could let the kiddos paint these as well, or you could just leave them as be. So lots of sets there. This Christian bundle is the one of the hat I'm wearing today. 
Um, such cute ones, not only hats, you could do these on t-shirts and all sorts of fun things, coffee mugs. Uh, but I've did that with one with this one. And then we are going to do the wake pray sleigh. So, uh, we're going to be using that, but you can see throwing them on sweat sweaters, you know, hoodies and things, t-shirts, lots of fun things. I love that one. Um, and then we've got some fonts in here, lots of different things between the mock-ups for the cups. I really love this one. Um, I actually even downloaded this one and used it the other day. I just loved it so much. We've got a sticker bundle in here. This one right here is also coming in a tutorial. So make sure you guys stay tuned as well. Um, like I said, you guys are going to see a lot of stuff come out of this bundle here. If you guys are very curious about it, but it is so cute. I love the colors in this one. Love, love, love. And then we are also going to be using this one today. So I'm going to do the license to grill on the blue hat for dad. And we're going to do like a baby blue on that. Uh, but you could definitely do um, on a white hat. You could do black, you know, but vice versa. Did I say that right? But you guys know. So lots of things for Father's Day. You guys could definitely throw these on t-shirts as well. Aprons would be really good too. So as you guys can see, there is tons of them inside here and it's only 19 bucks. So we've got this link down below for you guys. So let's go ahead and drop this screen. I'm going to go ahead and get ready to switch to um, Cricut Design Space. So in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and drop the camera really quick. And that way I can walk over the supplies while I get my screen ready. So let me go ahead and get that screen ready. It's giving two seconds. Like I said, you guys let me know where are you guys crafting from today? Um, and then how's the weather today? It's a little bit chilly here. We've had some ups and downs. It's either too hot, it's too cold. Um, but okay. So I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm just going to go ahead and walk you guys through here. Let's get this ready and then we'll come back over our supplies if that's okay with everybody. All right. So let's see here. Well, actually, let's go back down. I'm going to go ahead and drop my screen. Let me drop my screen really quick before I do get in there. So here we go. So I'm going to, let's go over the supplies and then I'm going to show you how to measure them and then we'll go to Cricut Design Space. So as you guys are well, welcoming, I can't talk today. It's definitely a Monday. As you guys are coming in, welcome, welcome, welcome. I see Arkansas. Yes, it is. We're from Arkansas as well. Um, hello from Germany. That is amazing. All right. So the hats that I'm using today are these ones right here. So I've got this blue one for dad. So there's this one right here. Now I've had this one for a bit. There's a couple places I like to buy my hats. I have them linked down below, but Judson is one of them that you guys may not ever think of or even knew existed. So it's, it's considered like a wholesale, but if you, um, you can go through there and you can get like the CC hats. That's what all of these are super cheap. I have a ton of fun of ones. So y'all stay tuned. So there's going to be a lot of tutorials coming from this, lots of different materials. So like I said, just stay tuned, but we did link them below if y'all want to check them out. But this one, I can't remember if I got it because I also buy them from clothing, clothing shop online. So it's another place I buy my hats. Um, so I don't know if I got this there or if I got it at Hobby Lobby, but I do have this blue one. This red one is a uh, CC hat. So is the one I'm wearing. This one's really cool because it's like a stone wash. Isn't that gorgeous? This is going to make the perfect. Um, I don't know why it's with that stone wash. I, it seems like it's making my screen. Hopefully you guys can see that. Okay. But anyways, this is a CC hat, but these are the ones that have that ponytail. So does the one I'm wearing. I really love these CC hats, but they had tons of different colors, purples, you know, you name it. So cute. So we're going to do that for the baseball. And then that wake prey sleigh. Look at this. It is black leopard. Once again, it's a CC um, and it's got the, um, the little crosses here. Now these are normally, if you bought these in, it comes, it's pretty cool from this place because if you were going to sell them inside a boutique, they actually already have them labeled with little QR codes. So like, for example, this hat is $22, but I get them for $7. Um, and then this one is originally 24. And once again, I get it for like seven bucks. So now something like this from Hobby Lobby, you're going to get for like three and four bucks. Same thing with clothing shop online. But when you get into your more boutique hats, for example, if I was selling these and I wanted to sell them for 35 bucks, I would go for the CCs. Um, so once again, so cute leopard. And then once again, it has that little crisscross for your uh, messy bun or your ponytail or whatever. All right. So those are the hats that I'm using today. And then today we're actually going to be using of course, the Cricut hat press, which comes with this little form here that helps hold the hat. This is perfectly shaped for that. And once again, it's included if you guys actually purchase the Cricut hat press. Um, and then um, the one thing I always like to say is it is full of walnut shells. So if you guys have an allergy to, or you know somebody in your family member that may come over, always keep that in mind. This is full of walnut shells. And then we have our Cricut Hat Press. I will be using it today along with the um, Cricut Heat app. Let's try to open that really quick so I can show you. So we're going to be using that Cricut Heat app. 
So you can definitely use this manual as well. And then we're also going to be using the Cricut Joy for this project. Because I thought I wanted to show you guys that you can use your Cricut Joy to make out these hats. Um, and then I'm going to be using that blue mat. And then I am going to be using this pretty, uh, this is a Caesar blue. It's like a really, um, I want to say this is called a Tiffany blue. It's really gorgeous. And then we're going to use some of that Caesar sparkle, which is my favorite. So it's a white glitter, but it has no texture. So it's the same settings as Caesar easy weed. And then I have this really pretty gold here, as you guys can see here. So this is a Caesar glitter, but you can definitely get it in Cricut as well. And then I'm going to be using the smart iron on. I think I have enough of it in this blue here. So we're going to use this so that way I can just load it directly in so I can show you guys that as well. So we're going to use that blue. All right. So I think that was everything. A few more things. Um, this, when you first purchase your Cricut hat bread, it's, it does come with a roll of that um, strong grip tape because you're going to need this instead of the, um, the Cricut, the blue tape that we've been using. You want the strong grip one because from, you know, I make a lot of hats. I have, um, the more industrial style um, hat presses, and it is a little bit harder on a round surface. So their strong tape is amazing. It is approved by me. Um, and then you can purchase these individual, but it does come with your first little roll in case you guys are wondering. So if you guys, you know, are just testing things out. All right. So I think I've went over everything. I will be using a, a paper trimmer here. One thing we're going to test out is I'm going to try to load the Caesar glitter. I'm going to cut it big enough to match the smart materials. And we're going to try to load it without, if it doesn't work, we'll load it again on the blue map. So we're going to be trying a few different things. All right. So let's figure out our measurements. How do you figure out, you know, how big to, um, that you can go across your hat. Now, the first thing you want to do is on your packaging, obviously, and I do not have this heated up yet. Um, it's going to have your dimensions, but you can always measure this little guy and keep those notes. So it's three inches by five inches is what it is. So I try to stay with about two and a half to about four and a half because you want to make sure you leave yourself a little bit of border. So that way you accidentally don't get out. Now you can press this in multiple presses, but whenever it comes to a hat, you definitely don't want to go wider than four and a half. So the hat that I have on right now, I've actually, I have it at four and a half. So I'm thinking today though, I'm going to go four and a quarter so for dad, I'm going to go four and a quarter, the sleep prey. I've got to figure that one out because it's going to be a little bit taller. And, um, so I have to figure out how big I'm going to get that one. And then the baseball mom one, I'm going to try to do two and a half by two and a half. So I'm going to try to stick within there or possibly the, th well, no, yeah, I'm going to do maybe two and a half, two point, two point seven five. We'll see. All right. So let's see. So let's go ahead and head back over to Cricut design space. Welcome from Texas. Hello, hello, hello. All right, so we're just going to head back over to Cricut Design Space really quick, and I'll switch you guys back up here so y'all can see me. All right, so I've already loaded these three in here. So easy to do. If you guys are new to um, using a Cricut, you're simply just going to download them, and then you're just going to upload them right here. So the license to grill here comes in three different layers, as you can see right here on the right-hand side, but I'm going to be doing all of mine one color. If you wanted to change these individual, you could. So I'm going to go ahead and just hit attach right away. And those are going to be this baby blue. So you can change the color right up here at the top. So we're going to do that. And then I'm going to go ahead and size that out. So like I said, I'm going to go ahead and do four. Get my keyboard over here. I'm going to do that 4.25. This one. And then for the mom, you can see we've got two layers here. So we're going to leave those separate because I'm doing one white. Now the mom, I'm actually going to click on it individual and I'm going to change it to blue because my hat is red. So I'm going to have baseball mom. Now what's really fun about these is because you can make these match the kiddos, um, you know, softball, baseball games too. So they're little uniforms, if you will. All right. So what we want to do is select both layers so we can size them at the same time. And we're going to change the height of the biggest one first. So I'm going to go ahead and so wide. Actually, no, nope, I'm going to go ahead and do 2.5 high, 2.5 high. And then we're going to have 3.24 wide. So this is this should be pretty good. And then for this one, since it's taller one, that's where my concern is. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do 2.5 on this one, which is going to give us like three inches wide. So we're going to go ahead and do those. Now this one here is actually going to be gold. So I'm just going to change it to yellow. So all of these are ready to go. So now we're going to go ahead and hit make it. And then I'm going to choose multiple ways because we are going to be using 
um, a couple of materials that are going to be able to load right inside, and then we're going to use the mat. So if you're using multiple ways, you're simply just going to choose multiple ways, and then we're going to hit continue. Now, all of these are HTV, so we need to turn on that mirror right over here. So you're just going to click on each layer to make sure all of those are mirrored. All right, we'll start back with. So this one, I'm trying to figure out which ones are going to be loaded. I may start down with, I may skip around on these since they're going to be, um, so for example, this one will be on the mat. You're just going to change them right there. And then the blue one is going to be on the mat. So I'm going to do the baby blue one on the mat. And I'm going to go ahead and change these mats because I'm actually using, to change your mat size, you're going to go ahead and come here. Actually, material size, let me see. I think it doesn't really matter, honestly. I'm going to just try to load the mat. I was thinking you could change the mat size. There we go, 4.5 by 12. There we go. So if you click on these right here, we can change our mat size right there. So that way we have them on the proper mat and then the other two are going to be their own. So this one, I need four inches and then four inches as well. All right. So these need to be cut five and a half. I'll look at my box in a second, but I think five and a half by four and then five and a half by four. All right. So we are completely ready to go. So next we're going to go ahead and hit continue. So for our first one, as well as that baby blue, those are going to be everyday, um, everyday iron on because they're Caesar. Uh, they're just basically Caesar easy weed. And then for the two glitters, we'll choose glitter. All right, so we're gonna do everyday iron on for this one. And then now we're gonna go ahead and swap our camera back down so that way we can get ready to cut it out. All right, so let me go ahead and drop this down here really quick. There we go. All right, so let's go ahead and get these things out of our way. And we'll get these projects going. All right, so for the first one, like I said, it is our white one. So I'm going to go ahead and trim this down and let me look at that again because I didn't even look to see how big, um, so I need to cut that three inches. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my little paper trimmer here and trim this down to three inches, just like so. All right. Have you guys tried Caesar Sparkle? Um, I definitely want to know that as well. It's one of my favorites. Like I said, if you guys love glitter, but you don't like the texture or having to change the um, settings, definitely check out that Caesar Sparkle. I'm going to check this one more time because I may have cut it a little too short. Nope. I think we're good. All right. So we are going to load this. So when we load this on our mat, we are going to load it with the, um, you know, the, the color side down, the sparkle side down. We're going to go ahead and get it over here in the corner and then we're going to get ready to load. I'm going to go ahead and bring this guy in here too so that way you guys can see everything. All right. And then we'll go ahead and pop that guy in there. Hello from Arkansas. Hello, hello. Thank you so much for joining. I've tried the sparkle. It's really pretty. I love it. All right, so now from your app or your, you know, Cricut Design Space, whatever you're using, you're going to hit that go button. So machine lost connection, it said. It's connected. Let's give it just a second to reconnect. And if we have to, I may have to save this guy. I'm not too sure what happened to this. Give me just a second, guys. For some reason, it has lost connection here. Um, never tried Sparkle. I'm telling you, Denise, you have to try it. You're going to love it. All right, so let me go ahead and go to, I'm just checking my settings here, guys. So give me just a second. I'm going to Bluetooth. I'm double checking that this little guy is here, and it is. I'm going to go ahead and hit cancel on my screen. Yes. And I'm going to come back and do it again. Continue. Let's see if that fixes it. So bear with me for just a second, guys. It just lost connection. Okay, let's choose everything. Iron on. There we go. Let's try it again. Preparing. Hello, hello, hello. Thank you so much. All right, y'all guys, just bear with me for a second. All right. Because it's cutting. There we go. I know it's a Monday. Let's see the Caesar Sparkle. Hey, Crystal, this is my first live. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, Crystal, for joining. We share the same name. I love it. All right, so um, I'll go ahead and pop us back up here so I can kind of talk to you a little bit and you can actually see me. So while I load these, I'm going to go ahead and just do it up here. Now, while this is actually going as well, I'm going to go ahead and keep 
cutting all of these pieces here. So as you guys are joining, continue to tell me where you guys are from, what you're crafting today. And then also um, let me know if you guys have purchased the Cricut hat yet. Is it on your wish list and all of the things. So like I said, I'm going to go ahead and continue to cut these out. I'm hoping it will show me so five inches. Maybe three and a half by five. So I just kind of hover over there so I can see all of my things. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut this one. So always cut your shortest. So I'm going to cut three and a half. I wouldn't go to the side. You always cut your shortest side first when you're working with a whole new sheet. And then uh, do your longer side. So that way you're not wasting material. So shorter side first. All right. So we've got our baby blue ready to go. And then I needed to cut these down to four. And I think, let me look at the box really quick. So I want to make, because this is the one we're going to test. So this is the Caesar glitter. I think this is their Vegas gold. And we're going to cut it down to dimension. So we need it to be 5.5 by four. So we're going to actually cut the four first. Like I said, we're going to do that. And then we are going to cut the 5.5. Oop, I'm getting that stuck on there. And then we're going to do... 5.5, because that's what's going to be in the machine. All right, so it has to be perfect. We're going to try it. All right, so we're going to go ahead and unload, and you're simply just going to do that once again over there in Cricut Design Space. We're going to unload this guy, just kind of peel it off there. And then for the next one, I'm going to choose, I'm going to go to Browse All Materials, and I'm just choosing glitter. So I'm just typing out glitter. I can spell. There we go. And then I'm going to choose my Smart iron on glitter. All right. So this is using that Caesar uh, glitter in gold. This is theirs. This is not the smart one. We're going to try to load it. So we're, you want to load it with the 5.5 like this. So we're going to go ahead and get it in here. It's going in there and I have it with um, the shiny side down. And let's see what happened. I think it's reading it and we're going to hit go. We're going to see how it does. All right, go. So, oh, and you know what? I'll have to line these up because um, I didn't weld or attach these. I wasn't thinking because these are individual colors. So you would want to attach this file before you send it to make it. So mine's doing mine individual, but we'll fix that in a minute. So, um, so we're gonna let that cut out. And I think I have, let's see, no crafts today, day full of appointments for no craft time, but able to hop and Oh, thank you so much for joining us though. Uh, good luck at your appointments. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and trim this piece down here really quick. Because this one, I'm just going to load the whole kit and caboodle on the blue. And then um, what else do we have? We have the white. I have the baby blue already kept for a minute. We have this one. So I only needed to trim the gold. And it looks like it's cutting. So if you guys want to know if you can put um, for sure, I don't know with the other materials, but with the glitter, it has a thicker back. Actually, I'm not going to tell you that until I get ready to weed because it almost seems like it's bunching a little bit. So we're going to find out. Now, if we do have to cut it again, we'll cut it in the correct um, the correct, where we weld it all together, attach it. All right, so we're going to go ahead and go over here, working on some keychains, glass jars, fun. All right, so we hit unload. Let me try to look at it a little bit. It seems like it did it. Hold on one second. I'm going to try to weed it out. So, because the glitter is so easy, it's hard to tell. If you ever try to look at your glitter and it's like, where is it at? And uh, so it looks like it did everything. Okay, I'll have to go back and be real slow so I don't pull these pieces. But it definitely cut everything out. I don't think it made a mess of anything. It's so hard. I'm trying to see where I'm at. There we go. I'll get all these pieces in a second. But yes, I think everything cut good. So if you guys want to know, that definitely works. So sweet. All right. So the next one is that baby blue. So we're going to load it on our mat like this. Once again, shiny side down. We're going to get this one in here. And this one I'm going to choose that everyday iron on. This is that Tiffany blue from Caesar. All right. Now I have a few more materials linked down below for you guys because I wanted to talk about those a little bit today. So let me let this load and then we'll talk about that. But I link below some flock for you guys. Flock is that velvet feel for the HTV. I'm going to go ahead and hit go. And then I also link down below brick. Brick is amazing for hats, which like I said, that we have tutorials coming very soon on that. It's a thicker, almost like a rubber. Those are perfect for um, some single designs on these hats as well. That's going to give it a 3D dimension. So brick and flock is linked down below for you guys. That's another material to get on hand. And you may want to purchase some and get it ready for um, at least the black ones. So get you a thing of the black flock and a thing of black um, brick because we're going to do a tutorial on that soon. All right, and then we only have one more. So while we are waiting on this guy, we'll start weeding. I'm gonna try to get all this glitter because it'll take a second. 
you know how sometimes, because like I said, with these colors, that's where those bright pads really do come in handy. So I need to bring one of those guys down here. So y'all bear with me for just a minute while I go through here and start weeding all of these pieces. But once again, thank you guys so much for joining us today. We always love crafting with you. And also, while I'm reading this, I'll go ahead and talk about, if you guys have not joined our Facebook community group, definitely go check it out. There is tons of other crafters just like yourself over there hanging out with us. They're making these same projects and sharing and giving tons of inspiration. You're also going to get quick access if you guys need help to anything. Everybody's there to help out. And um, we're also doing giveaways over there. And then um, you're going to see things like promo codes and, um, you know, little deals and stuff too for the dollar deal. So make sure you guys are check that out. Um, Brittany will link it down below in the comments. I'm sure it's in the description as well. But uh, definitely make sure you guys go over and check that out. All right. So we're going to unload this one. I'm going to hit unload. I had to choose the most uh, glitter that's hard to see, that gold one there. All right, and now we're going to load this. I'm going to keep the whole thing, so you can load the whole thing. I'm going to go choose my glitter again. So I'm just going to go into Cricut Design Space. I'm typing in glitter. And then, once again, if I could spell it correctly, glitter. And then I'm going to choose that Smart Iron on Glitter. Done. And so I can load that whole entire strip. I don't have to trim it down. I can do it after the fact. So that's what we're going to do. And then I'm going to let that, we're fixing a hit go on that. And that shouldn't take but a second to cut out as well. So my longest piece is getting this cut out. So I think I'm going to go ahead, just so I can get control of this. I did hit go. And I'm going to go ahead and start trimming away some of these pieces here. Now also, make sure you guys tune in Friday. Once again, if you guys want to see, we're going to have the tutorial for the hat that I'm wearing today. It's from that Christian bundle that's included with this. That will come out on Friday. And then also make sure you guys come back and join us next Monday as well, because I'm going to be live from Orlando. So if you guys have ever heard of the show Creativation, they've renamed it. But what it is, is it's, um, it's where they go demo all the new crafts and stuff that are coming out, new machines and all the fun stuff. So I'm going to be over there going live. We're going to be testing some stuff out in the booth. So make sure you all pay attention to our Instagram. So if you don't follow us over there, make sure you guys definitely go check that out. As well as um, make sure you guys watch for some lives over here. I'm going to go ahead and hit unload. Hello, hello from Maryland. All right, we're going to unload this. So now I'm just going to go ahead and take my scissors here and trim off the excess. And then I can put this piece back up. All right, so we'll scoot those out of the way. I'm almost done with these. Hold on, I'm trying to make sure. Okay, that's a W. You ever get where you're weeding to and you're like, what is this letter? Because it's wanting to hold on. I'm almost done. When it comes to this gold, it's gorgeous, but it is a little harder to see where you're weeding. So keep that in mind, but it's one of my absolute favorite colors. Like I said, it's the Vegas gold. I used to be obsessed with rose gold. I want to know, vote. Is it Vegas gold or rose gold? I used to be obsessed with rose gold, but now once I purchased that Vegas gold, there's another gold. I can't think of the name uh, from there as well. And it's gorgeous as well. Um, if I can think of it, I'll link you guys to that next time because it's just as pretty. All right. So let me just finish weeding out these pieces here. Y'all bear with me for just a second. I only have, I think, one more, maybe two more pieces here on this. I know I've got another piece on this. A. Another thing that you can do with this glitter is you can kind of bend it too, and you'll see those pieces kind of pop up. All right. So this is Wake Slay Prey, which I'm going to go ahead and fix that in just a second. I'll line those up correctly. And then what we're going to do too is I'm going to apply the ones with the everyday iron on first, and then we'll heat it up for the glitter because your glitter is going to be your highest temperature. So um, we're going to do that one last. So we're going to go ahead and weed out our little baseball here. So your little Cricut Joy is going to be perfect. I'm trying to make sure I'm not weeding something I'm not supposed to. Your Cricut Joy is going to be perfect for making your hats. Perfect. Perfect size. But you can also use your any Cricut you have. You can even use a silhouette if that's what you have. Um, if you have the Starcraft Solo, definitely feel free to use those as well. All right. I love this one, too, because it's distressed. It's super, super cute. All right. Almost there, guys. Let me. It's one of those things where you know you can't multitask. It's like I'm trying to talk at the same time, but this one's gorgeous. I'll drop it in a minute so I can really show you the color of that. I like it once again because it's that glitter and I don't have the 
texture. So for example, my daughter hates the texture of glitter. Like when I make t-shirts, she don't really like me to put the, the glitter on there. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and, now the Cricut glitter is just a little bit thicker than the, um, than Caesars. So I usually just use my weeding tool to kind of hold that down while I'm um, pulling on it, if that makes sense. So I just kind of use my weeding tool here and pop those pieces down. Here we go. All right. Now, are you guys working on any sort of summer projects? Like for example, the, um, you guys may notice the cute little project that's over here on the corner. That's a video coming very soon, but uh, just a little sneak peek. But are you guys working on any summer projects right now? Like I said, softball, baseball, I'm getting ready for Mother's Day, Father's Day, any of that fun stuff. I know that we are definitely starting to get in gear on that stuff. All right. One more piece. This is one that's going to be pretty quick here. And we're going to start making hats. I could go ahead. Well, I'm just going to do it because it's not going to take long. And then we'll get that heating up. All right. Now, once again, you do not, you have to have the app to set it up to initially set up your hat press, but you do not have to use the Cricut app. If you're just wanting to use it manually, you can definitely do so, but the Cricut app is going to send that exact temperature that you need, whether you're sublimating with it, you can sublimate, you can use infusible ink, you can, um, you know, apply your HTVs. And like I said, think outside of the box with your HTV. So like you see today, we're using glitters, but you can use flock, you can use the, um, oh my goodness, the, uh, the brick. The brick is one of my favorites. The first time I ever played with that is actually at this show that I'm going to. That's where I learned about it at the Caesar, at the Caesar booth. So um, it is amazing. Like I said, it gives it like a 3D. It's perfect, especially for like businesses, like a small business. It's really cool. All right, so I think I got all those pieces. I'm going to go ahead and get this stuff out of our way a little bit. And here we go. Making sure everything looks good. There we go. All right, so let's go ahead and get our app going here. And I'm going to go ahead and drop you guys back down just so you guys can see the app. So if you guys have your app already loaded on your phone, oh, it's only going to load whichever ones you have. So right now I have the 9 by 9 and I have the hat press. So you're going to click on that hat press. And we're going to go to start a new project. If you're using Cricut materials, it's super easy. But if you're using Caesar, you're going to use the same settings. So transfer material, we're going to go to um, everyday iron on because we're doing those first. And then we're going to go ahead and put, you can choose ball cap or trucker hat. I'm going to choose ball cap. And then we're going to hit next. So it's going to tell us that it needs 300 degrees for, um, let's see, pre hate five. This is 60 seconds. That's actually, I didn't choose. Yeah, I choose everyday iron on. So it's doing 300 seconds for 60 seconds. It seems just kind of high on this one. Send hat to the in the settings. Okay. You know what? I wonder if it's because I chose ball hat. One, one second, guys. I'm sending it over. Oh, I better turn it on. Before you actually do that, you have to turn it on. There you go. So once it's on, it looks like so. And I'm actually going to go back. So let's hit undo. Let's hit cancel. Let's go here and back. Start a new project. I'm going to choose a trucker cap just to see. Let's do everyday iron on trucker cap and we're going to hit next. Yeah, they're both 60 seconds. All right. So let's send, we're going to send it once again. So what it's going to do is it's sending that 300. So we have a five second um, press. So at the beginning, we're going to press it for five seconds um, to get that pre-press plot moisture. And then it'll give us that 60 seconds. So um, there you have it. And then let's go and prep up first. Let's do the mom one. So we're going to do a round one. So if you guys were curious about a circle design, we're going to do it here today. All right. And I'm going to leave this drop down so hopefully you guys can see a little bit better. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your hat press. So what you need to do is actually turn it. And this is going to be the bottom. So where your handle is, that's going to become the bottom of your, of your press there. Now, from somebody, I've talked about this, you guys will see it in, in the tutorials coming up, for somebody that actually owns the industrial style, style hat presses, I recommend you want to move this guy out of your way, this piece here, because if you don't, this is going to cause some blocking here. You're not going to get even pressure. So what I do is I, I kind of pull that back and you can adjust it in a second. So we're, I'm pulling this out and then I'm just going to fit this guy on here. Now that's already heated up, I've heard it deep. All right, so there we have it. So what you're going to do, so see how I've got that out here? And that's going to give us a smooth surface. So there we have it. So you're just going to get it in there until everything is nice and smooth. So it's going to look just like that. Once again, you can see this is the bottom. Does that make sense? 
There we go. Super, super cool. I just bought the light. Uh, oh my gosh. Let me tell you, I have the lights. So we're going to be doing a whole review on some of their new products. This came out. That's one of the ones I've got too. I'm going to be playing with that here soon. All right. So let's line this up. I'm trying to remember which way because this mom piece is kind of goes in here. A bit. So I was trying to see which way. Okay, I think just like that. Let's double check myself. I think it's like that. All right, so we are going to start off with this piece right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and center it up just like so. And then we're going to get some of that strong tape. So let me go ahead and get that off here. Now I do plan on with the sample one, it comes with a bigger hole than what's normal. And I, that's how their sample was before, I think. With I've gotten a sample before. So I think the original rolls are gonna be normal. I really truly think they're gonna be normal size. I have one on the way and it may already actually even be um, at the house. So I'll tell you guys that very soon if you guys haven't already purchased them. If you guys already know, drop it down below. Is the normal roll, so if you purchase this separate, is it a normal size or is it, is it stay big like this? Because I'm hoping it is normal because we want to put it on our rolls. You know, I like to do little fancy uh, tape holders like this. All right, so we're going to go ahead and do this. So first, we're going to go ahead and do our five seconds. So you're just going to get it down, and then you're going to hit that button, and it's going to do, oh, I didn't pre-press for five seconds. Never mind. We didn't pre-press. We're going to go ahead and uh, just do our tack down for that one. All right. So we're just going to turn that into a tack down. Let me go back on. I didn't pre-press. You guys want to pre-press. So we've already, we'll do it on the next one. So you're supposed to pre-press your hat for five seconds. So what I've turned it into instead is we're going to do a pre-press because this is a two layer. And so we're going to go ahead and do that. And I'm actually going to go ahead and um, I'm going to go ahead and just bump it back up to the glitter and then we'll switch hats and come back. So now let's go ahead and go back. Let's hit cancel. And now I'm going to change it from the Everyday Iron-On to the Smart Iron-On Glitter. So I'm just switching it up here. We're going to say Trucker Hat, and we're going to hit Next. So it's taking it to 3.30, so it won't take long to bring it back down. Send settings to the hat. And now I don't need to do that five seconds. So what I'm going to do is hit Skip. So if you want to skip your five-second press, all you got to do is hit Skip. There we go. So you know whenever you guys are working with two layers that you want to do just a little tack down. Because your tack down, I think I was supposed to have it this way, but that's okay. We're going to roll with it like this. So your two, your second, your, I think that's how it is, right? Let me go back and look at my design. Let's hit done. I'm already confusing my own self. Yep. So the, the, this was supposed to be turned in this direction, but we're going to roll with it like this. Okay, guys. So y'all guys bear with me. So whenever you're layering something, you always want to do a two second tack down. So we're going to go ahead and do this, and then we'll get our tape. I think we can use those same pieces of tape here. All right, there we have it. And then I have a small piece down here that's going to be exposed. So I'm just going to trim it down and cover up that piece of HDD. And so now we're going to go down and hit go. Because like I said, I skipped that six seconds. Now, when they say light pressure, they mean light pressure. So don't be pushing down hard. Just hold it in place. Because if not, you're going to get some press marks. So like I said, you're really just holding it there. Don't push down. Um, so you're, you don't want, you want to avoid those press marks. We're going to go for that 60 seconds. I'm sorry, guys, that I turned that. Like, I, you know, I looked at it so many times, but I think it'll be fine. So definitely make sure you always kind of refer back to the photo if you get confused along the way. All right. So we're going to just pull this guy down here. Now, once again, um, anybody purchase the, um, the hat press, um, I'm so, so excited about it. This is my best, my best, my most favorite item released in the last couple of years. This is super, super cool. I'm a big fan of this because it just makes it so easy. You can make hats at a local, say if you have like a, you were at the county fair and you were making hats. I mean, so easy, right on the spot, easy to pull out and store. You don't have to buy a big industrial and those can get pricey, you know? So I'm super, super excited about it. All right, so what I do with the glitter from Cricut 2, I take a little scissors here and kind of rub it in there. I like to let it set for just a few seconds. So the Cricut glitter does take, you do need to let it cool down. So you can go ahead and start by taking it off of the form and then um, just kind of wave it around a little bit and let it kind of cool down. But I'll bring that up so you guys can see it so far. It would have been so much better if it was like this. But I do love the rustic look of this one too. It's so, so cute. All right. 
So we're going to go ahead and peel this guy off of there. And I think that came out really good. I love it. Now I would have, so you can, you can definitely do the round circles on here. Um, but uh, I do love how that looks really rustic like that too, but it would have been better if I had had it, but you know, you guys already know the drill. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and set this guy out of the way. And now while we're waiting, so while I'm prepping, I'm going to go ahead and get this guy back down to normal. So I'm going to hit done. And then we're going to go to start a new project. Actually, look, I think it's saved. Yeah. So we have, it actually saves your last few. So we're just going to go back to the one that we used before, send settings. There we go. This time we're going to pre-press correctly. Oh, I should have pressed the glitter one. I did have one more glitter. I wasn't thinking. That's okay. So what I'm going to do here is we're going to take it out again, just like so. Thank you so much. All right. Here we go. We're going to load this. So this is one. I need to pull this guy out. So hold on. This one may be a little harder. It almost has a smaller. And this is something I want to try to do here is to test several different kinds of stuff. Like I said, I got lots of hats. Um, so y'all stay tuned because it's going to be a ton of fun. So um, I want to try to, lots of different hats. And this one right here, you may even want to tighten it. Hopefully, I think you guys can still see this. You want it to be tight on this little guy here. All right. So I think that's good. Now, with this one, I can see that I've got some lint going on. So I'm going to go ahead and pull out my handy dandy lint roller here. And a second, bear with me. I used that to pick up some weeding stuff the other day. All right. So we're going to remove any sort of lint. And I'm gonna to remember to do the five seconds this time. So it's set at the five seconds. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit go. So it's going to start on the phone there. You guys can see that there. It's gonna do our five seconds. And now it's gonna to switch to that 60 seconds. And it's almost there. Right. And so now I'm gonna go ahead and get this one ready. So I'm going to go ahead and trim around this a little bit just to kind of help it fit on here a little better. Let's try to look at it and make sure it looks pretty even right there. I think that looks good. So I'm going to go ahead and get me two pieces of tape to hold this guy down. Now I do love this one. I thought that baby blue looks good. It may be coming on your side. It may look white, but it is actually a baby blue. All right, here we go. Now, once again, if you guys um, stick around, once we get to Q and A, we are gonna do a giveaway. We're gonna give away this entire bundle to one lucky winner. And I will share that hashtag we're using today in just a bit. All right, so here we go. I may have to press this twice just because we are kind of bending over this way. So I'm going to go ahead, give me just a second. All right, there we go. So I think we're ready to go. And I'm going to go ahead and hit that go button. And remember, it is 60 seconds. I think I think I may go ahead and do this and then go towards the front because I feel like, to me, which I'll be able to see here in just a bit. And once again, light pressure. My biggest problem is I keep wanting to push down hard. I'm just so used to pressure. Um, so make sure mindful of how much pressure. That's the one thing I can preach about the new hat press is pressure, pressure, pressure. Try not to give a ton of pressure. And I kind of wonder if that's why they're using so much heat. I mean, so much time is because of the pressure difference. So we've got 23 more seconds. Let's see. That is a great hat. Would love to make one for my grandson to give to his dad. Oh, that would be amazing. That would make such a great gift. But yeah, these would be perfect to make for Father's Day coming up. That's adorable. Thank you so much. Nice design. My husband is a chef. Oh my gosh. I'm telling you, we have a black stone. Does anybody else here have a black stone? Um, we love that thing. All right. So I think I'm going to go ahead and move. So if you need to do it again. I'm going to go ahead and hit that go button one more time. It's going to restart that 60 seconds. So if you feel that it did not cover everything, I just moved it up. So now I'm getting that top part that's kind of rounding over just a little bit. So we're just going to go ahead and get this one down. But no, I love this one. And this blue is so cute. I actually have these in a few colors too, like red and stuff. But I want to say this may be a Hobby Lobby hat. So you guys can find these local Getting ready to order a hat press. Yay! I'm telling you, you're going to love it. It is my most favorite thing that has been released in years. Um, so smart. And, you know, like before we were using our little mini little mini press and we were like folding up the um, 
like the our big cricket pad and things like that. We've done towels. I mean, this was just so, so genius. Blackstone, yes, I love the Blackstone. Um, yes, the food is just delicious. The temperature key, um, the vinyl, let's see, temperature, pressure key, and the vinyl, yes. So four more seconds. We are almost there, guys. My husband and two boys never leave home without a hat. Oh, this would make such a great gift. Now I'm going to go ahead. I was trying to, I was pushing down a little bit. So I'm going to smooth down some wrinkles. It looks like I may have done. I always keep a pair of um, scissors on hand. I'll use these little, I don't know if you guys do that or not either. When you guys are working on t-shirts or anything, if you need to kind of rub a piece down, I feel like while the adhesive is hot, I'm weird like that. Sometimes I like to rub that around. All right. So I feel for this one, I need to go over that bottom just a little more. So I'm just going to smooth those out. So we're going to go ahead and what I'm going to do to make this easier, give me one second. I'm going to grab a piece of parchment. And this is why it's very important. So like this design should have came down just a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and grab one piece of parchment. All right. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring that thing back over here one more time. I'm going to back it up over on this side. And I'm just going to press for a few seconds. So I didn't even hit the thing. I'm going to kind of rub it back and forth because basically I didn't get close enough to that bill. All right. So I'm just kind of rubbing that guy back and forth, back and forth. There we go. Okay. I think I'm happy with this now. Set that guy out of the way. I love the way this one came out. <laughs> so cute. Absolutely love the mom. Ball. Oh my gosh. I'm glad that you like it. Like I said, I, um, I hate that I messed that up. I think it looks good. If you don't know that I messed it up, you didn't know that I messed it up. That's what I love about, um, you know, DIY and your own gifts. People don't even know. But there is the license to grill. I think those colors, like I said, this is like a Tiffany blue. Um, it may even be um, Robin's egg, um, but it is really, really pretty. And I think that color just went really, really, really well with this. But you could definitely do it with the white to pop off of here. But that blue just came out so, so nice. And so, yeah, we're going to be gifting this one to dad. So this is such a great, fun gift. Once again, dad, grandpa, um, whoever loves to play on that grill. So if you've got a black stone, I'm sure I would even be wearing this hat too. So there's our second one. So let's bump our heat back up, which is going to be super easy. So we're going to go to the glitter. So once again, our same settings, we're going to go back to, to the glitter. I do like that it saves your last few. So we're going to send those settings. We'll bring this guy back in here. We're going to move this out of the way. We're going to get ready for this last one here. All right, so... This one here, I'm going to go ahead and pull these pieces out. Take this off. Let me go ahead and take this. Now, if you guys are making these for a boutique, you don't have to pull those. You can leave your tags. So you can see that I leave these tags on here. You can leave all of your tags. It's not going to hurt anything as long as they're not here. If you do have any sort of paper form, you do want to remove that. And like I said, I do highly recommend to pull this piece back. I can't think of what that's called. It's called something. Sweatband. But um, you definitely do want to pull that back because that's what they have always taught because it is, it's, it's interfering with your, with your pressure. All right. So I'm going to get this guy back in here, but look at this different hats. And so you can use whatever ones you want to. All right. There we go. And so you can kind of pop that around, but there it is. Oh my gosh. The slipper print is so cute. Now let me figure out how I'm going to do this because these are separated. So we are going to do... I believe it is a uh, weight prey slice. I'm going to try to line these guys back up the way they go. So y'all bear with me for just a second while I do this. Right, so we're going to go ahead and do, let's see. I'm going to try to carefully line these guys up together. So this gold is so cute. Wake. And then we're going to have pray and slice. So I'm trying to stagger them the way that they belong. But if you are not, like I said, if you're not going to change the colors, make sure you guys weld these or attach them before you actually send a cut. All right. But we leave them um, individual because you may want to change them. You know, you may want to do different colors or maybe I was doing a pattern prints or whatever. So definitely, like I said, I would, I would definitely, um, I'm over here trying to multitask. Let me try to get these pieces down really quick. You ever, you look like you can't work and talk at the same time. That's me. Okay, here we go. And then we'll tape all these pieces down. And then we have a sleigh. 
So I want to adjust this over just a bit. Here, wait. Great. Look at that. Does that look pretty even? I think it does. What do you guys think? I think it looks great. All right. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get down a piece of tape. And so I'm going to kind of line one across. And honestly, that seems as long as it's sticking down, you're good to go. I think it's good. We're going to trust it. And then I'm going to go ahead and just go right on top. Well, let's oh, you know what? I know I just took all this time, y'all, but we did not pre-press. So we're going to go ahead and hit that go. We're going to pre-press because you really don't want to skip that because you do need to pull out the moisture. So I'm going to take the time. I'm going to do it correctly. And then we're going to go back in here. It's all right. We've got it. We know where it's at now. So it's no big deal. All right. So we had it. Let me think here for a second. I think we have it somewhere right about in here. There we go. Thank you guys so much for being patient with me today. I'm telling you what, it has been a Monday running around like crazy. All right, so we're going to hit the go button. And now we're going to go right on top. I believe I'm covering everything. But once again, see me wanting to really push down that pressure. I have to remind myself, slow down. Don't push so hard because we don't want to leave those creases. I've noticed a huge difference from when I do it the correct way. So we've got 45 more seconds here. So I'm just holding this down. I love, love, love this hat. Um, they have tons of them, like I said, where I purchase them. I've dropped the links down below. I love to purchase on Clothing Shop Online. I don't know if I linked that one or not. We can definitely do it after. But that one's where I like to buy my uh, the trucker hats that I sublimate. But all of these CC hats I purchased from that Judson. They're so affordable. And these are going to make the perfect gift. Can you imagine gifting this to your teenage son, daughter, grandson? I mean, niece, nephew. This is going to make such a great gift. Dad, mom, aunt, uncle. I mean, such a great gift. But I love this thing. I cannot preach about it enough. It is amazing. So highly recommend it. I think it's such a great price point. All right. And I love the fact that it actually even came with the um, press, like the little the form here. All right. Once again, well, this is a Caesar. I may be able to peel it. Look at me with my scissors. I'm telling you all, this is a little life hack for me. So if you feel like it needs just a little bit more, it doesn't need to be reheated. It may just need um, pushed down just a little bit more. Use those scissor ends. You guys let me know if you guys use your scissors. All right, there you go. This one I love. This reminds me of, um, what's that game show? You know where you go up to the front? Uh, what is it called? Price is Right. So wake, pray, slay. Hopefully you guys can see that glitter there. I think I got a little bit crooked there, but it looks good. Love, love, love. Uh, thank you so much. And you know, that's what we try to do. Whether you guys are um, actually going to recreate these exact projects, we hope to inspire you and help you get out there and craft today. Or if you're new to Cricut um, or even Sublimation or Glowforge or whatever, we're here to inspire or help you kind of learn along the way. So if you guys do recreate any of these projects, we definitely want to see them. So always use those hashtag design bundles so we can check it out. Or make sure you guys definitely join us over on our Facebook community group because we would love to see your projects. You can also share them over there or also get inspired. So we have that Facebook community group, I think, in the comments as well as the description. I hope you guys can see this. I'll drop it back down in a second so you can see again. But here is the Wake Slay Prey. I think I may have bumped my E there. And then we have our mom. So this is our baseball mom one. And then we have our license to grill. So such, such a fun. I love, love, love it. Um, so let's go ahead and get ready for Q&A. Mm -hmm. All right. Are you guys ready for that hashtag? I'm going to tell y'all good luck to everybody today. The hashtag is hat. Hashtag hat. Drop it in the comments below right now for a chance to win. And while you guys are doing that, we'll go over Q&A. So hashtag hat gives you a chance to win and you have to be watching live. So if you guys are watching on the replay, um, we definitely do more giveaways, but definitely make sure you check out our Facebook group for that. Did you guys see that piece of plastic pop up there? All right. So use that hashtag hat for a chance to win. Also, remember, if you guys want to see this design, it's in that same Christian bundle as the Wake Slay Prey. So these two right here in that same bundle, uh, this big craft bundle, these are the Christian one. Uh, you're going to see this tutorial this coming Friday. So make sure you stay tuned for this one. And then also you're going to see more. We have several tutorials coming out of this bundle. So lots of them. All right. So let's go ahead and get ready for comments. 
Um, are these files allowed to be used for designs to sell? So what you can do, and which Brittany can, um, in the comments below, she can definitely let you know a little bit more. But any time that um, you purchase one of these, you can check down below and it should say whether it is commercial or not. I'll try to actually stop the screen and go over there and peek really quick with you just so I can kind of show you where to look. So give me just a second, because that's such a good question. It's a question that we get quite often. So um, I'm going to go ahead and switch you guys over here to show you guys really quickly this bundle here and where to look for, um, you know, whether it is a, whether it has a commercial use or not. So I was trying to see here. License included. All products included in this bundle are available for personal and commercial use. So if you look at the very bottom right, you will see the, uh, the included license. All right. Let's see. Oh, I never shared it. So you guys could not see. Well, let me go ahead and hit share. Let me go ahead and show you really quickly. All right. Sorry about that, guys. So um, whenever you get to this craft bundle here at the very top. So if you guys are ever curious about that, and like I said, this is such an important and such a good question. So if you guys are ever curious, if it, it includes that commercial license, number one, if you're a plus member, those include commercial. But a bundle like this, all you simply need to do is scroll down and um, you can see here commercial use license. But if you come down here to the bottom right, sorry about the quick scroll, hopefully I don't make you guys dizzy. See where it says license included? It tells you right here, all products included in this bundle are available for personal and commercial use. So um, it's super exciting. So you definitely are going to get that commercial use for this one. All right. So I hope that answers your question. Let's see what else we have here. Um, what other ways can you use the Glowforge files without having a Glowforge? Well, actually, because for me, the Glowforge files that I use is an SVG. So if it's still an SVG, you can still use those with your Cricut. You can use them for a t-shirt. You can use them for paper crafts. A lot of our Glowforge projects you can even use for paper crafts. So um, that's such a good way to do it as well. All right, let's see here. Is a hat press needed if you already have a Cricut Mini? No, it definitely is not. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off really quickly. So you can definitely still achieve that. Now, what I hope Cricut's going to do is sell these guys individual, because if they sell these individual, you can still do that with your little mini easy press. This is just gonna make it easy. It has the form and all that. But um, I know that their Cricut mini easy press they're fixing to release in May is gonna have those same settings you can do too. But no. Hopefully, if we can get these separate, because like I said, it's sold together, um, that would be good too. If not, we've done it with towels and all sorts of things. All right, let's see here. What press is that? I came late. This is the Cricut Hat Press. This is brand new. They just released it. It's the Cricut Hat Press. All right, let's see. How much is it? I cannot remember off the top of my head. Um, I may let Brittany um, look that up really quick, and maybe we can pop that up on the screen here in a second. But I don't remember how much that was. Have you used the light pad um, to weed? Yes, I have. I actually own all three of them. So I own the one that the original one, and then I own one that's Bluetooth and, um, and then the other one. So wondered if I should leave it in the cabinet. Let's see. So I wondered if I should leave it in the cabinet, but I have never used it. Now there is other ways to use your light. I use it in so many different ways. Um, so definitely stay tuned because I think I'm going to do a tutorial showing you all the different ways that you can use that bright pad. So for example, when you're lining something up, not just weeding, when you're lining something up, you can use that light, it kind of glows behind it. So it really works well for that too. So like I said, stay tuned, I'll, I'll work on a video on that. All right, let's see here. I noticed you didn't move your hand back and forth like the video says to do. Do you think that helps? Yes, well, with the when you move it back and forth, that will help to make sure you're covering the whole thing. And that may be why it's 60 seconds too, is moving it back and forth, the whole thing. Um, another thing, I wouldn't do that with the sublimation. So, but whenever it comes to HTV, you can definitely do that. That's going, what that is going to do is that's going to help avoid those, those crease marks. So that way you're not just going down. So keeping it a uh, constant motion will help avoid those crease marks. All right, let's see, what else do we have here? You say they're walnut shells. Yes, this is loaded inside with walnut shells. So I think there's a couple layers here, but it's loaded with walnut shells. So when you purchase it, it does come, it's covered in plastic, but it did have a very strong smell. I could smell it before I even opened the plastic. So on the plastic there, it was a big warning on it that says if you have an allergy, it's, it's loaded with walnut shells. And then right here, so in case you 
take that off. You also have a tag inside that says it too. So the one thing that does concern me, so if you have a family member that has an allergy, keep that in mind because say, for example, you have Thanksgiving and you forget about this and they have a reaction and you don't remember why, because this guy may be sitting pretty close. So, so keep that in mind. Let's see here. The timer is on the app and not the machine. Yes. So around, by the way, let me go back and answer that. The hat press is $150. So give or take, um, depending on what sells, about $150. The timer on the app is not, and not on the machine. Yes. So that's the thing about it. It's kind of like, um, if you've ever had the Cricut Mini, it's just a button. So you can use it manually. So if you turn it on, you have one. So that's like low temp, you have medium temp, which would be for like H, um, everyday iron on. Then you have your sublimation, your top, your top one. So that'd be around 400 degrees. So your middle probably be glitter. The bottom would probably be everyday iron on, but you could definitely do it manually. Um, but yes, your timer and stuff, that's where they have that heat app for you on that. All right, let's see here. Can you use the hat press for visors? Yes, you can. And I will have a tutorial on that soon as well. All right, let's see here. What else do we have? I did not like the smell. Um, how long did it last? You know what? For me personally, that smell, because I kept thinking it was kind of like a perfumey smell. And my daughter had just came in, so I didn't know if it was a spray that she had put in, but it was definitely this. It only lasted for a day, so it's completely gone. I can't even smell anymore. So once you press, which now I've made, I think, six or seven hats now, um, so it's gotten rid of. I don't smell anything off of it now. Let's see here. That was our very last question, so let's get ready for the giveaway. <laughs> By the way, guys, this is what it looks like because normally I've backed the camera up so you guys can see my workspace more so we can craft and you can see my face. But uh, it definitely shows what happens in here. It becomes a big mess. But I know that as a crafter, you guys understand all of this. So this is my life as a crafter. But um, good luck to everybody. Make sure you guys have put in that hashtag hat. And if you haven't, go ahead and drop it down really quickly. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get ready. So let's go and pull that screen up. And let's get ready to draw. So good luck to everybody. I'm going to click here. Good luck, good luck, good luck. Now remember, whoever wins today, you can start crafting with us today. Stay tuned if you guys purchase this because I have tons of tutorials coming. Good luck, good luck. Oh my goodness. Congratulations, Kathy. Congratulations. Thank you for watching us here on YouTube. I am so excited for you today. Um, you've got such a great bundle. You are going to be crafting for so long. Now make sure that you send an email to mail at designbundles.net. Let them know that you won watching this live today and you can collect your bundle. Like I said, you can start crafting today. So that is mail at designbundles.net. All right. So I want to thank everybody so much for hanging out with us today. I really hope that you guys enjoyed our tutorial, our projects. Like I said, stay tuned for Friday. You guys are going to see this tutorial coming as well as some sublimation ones. Um, and then uh, we have all of these hats here. Such a great bundle. I hope you guys love it. And I hope you guys definitely check it out. A few more things to remember. Definitely make sure you guys come back Monday because we're going to be live in Orlando and we're going to be going um, popping in on Instagram as well. The stories and things like that. And uh, make sure you guys check out our Facebook community group if you haven't already. Also, if you guys are not subscribed, I highly encourage you guys to do so. We do fun lives like this every single Monday, 2 p.m. Central Standard Time, as well as at the end of the month, we do the Dollar Deal Live. Uh, lots of fun stuff going on here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please hit the like button down below and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.